Jesus had compassion on these blind men. We have a God who's deeply moved, who's compassionate. This is who God is. This is what he's like. But sometimes it's pretty hard to believe that God's compassionate. Sometimes it's hard to cry out to Jesus with our deepest needs. For me, as I step into the story and I see myself in it, I realize that often my default view of God is not always compassionate. It's not the first thing that always comes to my mind when I think of this God. What's the result? It's that I don't always ask. I don't always pray about what I need. I stay seated and I stay silent. There are moments where I think and where I personally sense Jesus is asking and he's inviting me and saying, Christian, what do you want me to do for you? And I respond kind of with a lesser thing. I say something like endurance, which is a good thing to pray for, but what I really want is relief. How many times do we not ask God for the real thing? Because deep down we don't think, yeah, he's merciful. He has the power to do something, but is he really compassionate? We get that he's powerful. We get that he has the ability to show mercy, but sometimes deep down we don't trust that he's compassionate, which is why this moment with Jesus is so important. Jesus is not merely a prophet pointing to God. He's not just a teacher explaining what God is like. Jesus is God. Jesus is God on display, showing who he is like. When God wants to show anything about his character, he leads with not power, not royalty, not infinite wisdom. He leads with compassion. Out of anything that God could choose to lead with, he leads with compassion. Exodus 34, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord is compassionate and gracious, abounding in steadfast love, forgiving iniquity and rebellion and sin. That's who our God is like. Did you know 80% of the times in the Bible when the word compassion is used, it's actually describing God? 80% of the times, not talking about people, it's talking about him. That's who our God is. Compassion is the baseline starting point. So we have to deal with any misconceptions that are in our lives about God that tell us that he's something other than compassionate. Now, I get that that can be hard for some of us to trust, but it's in those moments that we need to be like these blind men and call out to Jesus to help us believe that he is compassionate.